Hey guys, it's Rod from Civil Advantage Firearms Training uh, here. Um, as you know, we're doing some outdoor type videos. Uh, I wanted to pass on to you something that I teach in the Canadian Firearm Safety Course, and that's how to carry a shotgun, especially if you're carrying it for predator defense. Um, carrying a shotgun loaded, but uh, it being in a safe condition so that you don't ever take the chance of you know, having a negligent discharge or accidental discharge, as some people want to call it. I, they're very rarely accidents. They're usually due to negligence. Uh, and hurting yourself or shooting your own foot off or shooting somebody that you're hanging out with. Uh, but anyway, I just want to pass this on. So uh, the reason why I carry a shotgun in the wilderness is purely for predator defense, right? We have, uh, we have cougars, we have bears, uh, all kinds of things, bobcats, all kinds of things that can cause you some pretty serious bodily harm. Uh, so I, I own a shotgun, so I have no excuse not to have one. How we do it is um, we take the shotgun, we cycle the action, we look, we do a touch, and we can check the bore for obstruction. So you can do that by either putting a cleaning rod down there, push a flashlight in there, take a look down the barrel, totally fine. Any way that you want to do it, you can do that. But look, touch, check the bore for obstructions. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the action. I've verified that this is safe. I'm going to point in the safest available direction. I'm going to pull the trigger. Now I'm going to keep the safety off. That's the key. I, it, under stress, if if a bear comes barreling out of the woods or a, or a cougar comes running up the logging road at me, I'm going to be under extreme stress. It's going to happen in two heartbeats, and uh, I'm going to have a really hard time with any fine motor movement. So I'm not going to be able to manipulate the safety. I'm not going to be able to load it. This is going to be a problem for me, right? So in any case, cycled it. I determined it's safe. Cycle the action. Pull the trigger. Now, after I pulled the trigger. The firing pin itself, the striker that's inside the gun, is no longer engaged, meaning that it's already been disengaged, there's no tension on the spring, nothing. So the striker can never actually fire a cartridge, even if there was a cartridge inside the chamber. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it up, and in this case with buckshot. Buckshot's a really good choice. I'll just put one round in there for now. And uh, slug is a good choice also, right? Now I would have the whole tube is now loaded with ammunition. So in this small shotgun, I can have four rounds. So there's four rounds in the tube, nothing in the chamber. I can still pull the trigger. Look at I'm actually doing it. That's a live round in there right now. We're out in the woods, so we're allowed to do this. Pulling the trigger, nothing. Now, I leave the gun just like that. I can carry it. I can, I can trail carry it, right, with my hand like that. I can ready carry. I can put, throw, throw the sling on there, put it over my shoulder. No problem. This gun will never, ever, ever discharge or hurt anybody. If I had a problem... All I need to do is grab the firearm and cycle the action and pull the trigger. Okay, so if we do a, a chamber check right now, you can see there's a round right on the chamber. So under extreme stress, I'm going to lose my fine motor movement, which means I cannot, I won't have the, the control, I won't have the, the, the me mental wherewithal either in most cases to manipulate something as small and fine as the safety. But Sure as heck, if I'm under extreme stress, I can do huge gross motor movements. That still all works for me. So cycling the action is really no problem, and I'm ready to fire. Okay, so hopefully that was useful. This is how I carry a shotgun constantly in the bush. I never, ever chamber around. I, if for it being that easy, I really have no excuse to chamber around. Uh, anyway, hope it helps. Uh, hope you guys use it because it's a great way to stay safe in the woods and still be protected against predators uh, should a, a problem arise. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.